The Awakening expansion is here. The Legends of Frontera patch 3.14 introduces 5 new champions, including LOR's first exclusive champion, a new card type, and the corrupted skin line. The new card type is Equipment. These cards can be equipped to a unit to grant them their bonuses. Once the unit leaves play, the equipment returns to your hand, like attached allies. The patch also brings 4 new Voca. Auto Equip automatically equips the item, creating it if needed when summoned. Flow is activated if you play 2 or more spells or skills the round before. With Improvise, you can choose one of two random equipments and equip it to the ally. If they are summoned but not played, it equips a random equipment instead. And Forge grants an ally plus one plus one. If they're equipped, you grant it to the item instead. But let's talk about the new cards. Headlining this expansion is Kane with his level up animation. The rage. Let it loose. His level two, the Shadow Assassin, Rust, his origin card, the Shadow Reaper, his champion spell, Kane's Shadow Step, and his equipment, the Dark Scythe, Shadow Scythe, and Corrupted Scythe. Kane's followers are Forsaken Bakai, Ranger Knight Defector, Noxian Defector, Shadow Blade Fanatic, and Keeper of the Box. His spells are Furious Wilder, Momentous Choice, Tempting Prospect, Heedless Resurrection, and Otter Devastation. We're also getting the Darkin Blood Letters, and the two followers, Darkin Thrall and Sholani. Our second champion is Master Yi. This is his level up animation. Hope lives in the edge of my place. His level 2, his champion spell, Master Yi's Wuju style, which creates the spell Meditate. Among his followers, we have Jun, the Prodigy, Vastayan Disciple which creates the spell Shimon Wind, and Disciple of Doran, which creates the spell Preparation. Master Yi brings along with it the landmark Mistfall, the spell Wuju style, and the equipment Soul Sword. Nora is the first Legends of Frontera exclusive champion. This is her level up animation. Portals, portals, up and down and all around. Her level two, her champion spell, Nora's Portal Palooza, and the new boon, Mysterious Portal. Nora brings with her four new followers, the Tea Maker, Junk Construct, Living Library, and Realms Caretaker. Three new spells, Magical Journey, Portal Palooza, and Eclectic Collection, and the equipment, Origami Slicer. Jax is our second Runeterran champion from this expansion. This is his level up animation, Thousand years of battle and I'm just warming up! His level 2, his origin card, Grandmaster at Arms, his champion spell, Jack's Counter-Strike, and the equipment, the Light of Acathia. Among his followers we have Ferith, Reaper of the Sands, Ionian Hookmaster, Piltoven Castaway, Wandering Shepherd, and Combat Cook. Jax brings with him five new spells. Blades of the Fallen creates Acathian Mirage. Parts Made Whole, Catch, Entrancing Lure, and Sharesies. And when you improvise, you can get the following equipment. The Fixim 5000, Pot of Pain, Sandworn Amulet, Combat Reel, Panopane, Fisherwalk, Shepherd's Authority, and Upcycle Drink. And closing our champions for this expansion, we have Orn. This is his level up animation. Now this is what good looks like. You wanted the God of the Forge, you got it! His level 2, his champion spell, Orn's Bellows Breath, and the follower, Spirit of the Ram. With Orn, we're also getting the following followers. Favored Artisan, which creates the spell, Time and Dedication, Adept Weaponsmith, Hearthblood Mender, Weaponsmith Apprentice, and Rock Colossus. Orn's Forge is a new landmark, and we're getting two new spells, Gift of the Hearthblood and Bellows Breath. Among the other cards of the expansion, we're getting two new landmarks, Buried Armory, which creates the equipment, Treasure of the Sands, and Back Alley Bar. New spells, 
Silence and Suppress, Hexbliterator, Loaded Vessel, Seal in Steel, which creates the equipment Corrupted Form, Quietus, Heavy Metal, and Celestial Impact. And for new equipment we have the Darkin Ballista, which can be played as Naganeka of Sureta, Draconic Bands, Great Hammers, Jagged Cutlass, Gatalis version 1.0, the Darkin Lodestone, which can be played as Horasi, Mecha Pulverizer, Malefic Spear, the Darkin Halberd, which can be played as Tarosh, Bone Club, and Demacian Steel. This patch also introduces an update to the rank ladder, to have more satisfying progression. We're also getting a few adjustments. Void Abomination is receiving a nerf, now costing 9 and getting an extra health point. And Deep Meditation and Eye of the Dragon have been updated with the Flow vocab. The Path of Champions is also receiving a big update. The Shadow Isles is now available, and we have new champions coming to the mix. Jax, Kane, Orn, Master Yi, Nora, Vagar, Leona, Diana, and Ash. We're also getting four new relics and weekly adventures. These adventures will be randomly generated from existing adventures with mutators to keep things fresh. Rewards from these portals can be earned once per week, and any in-progress adventures will be retired with the weekly reset. Patch 3.14 introduces the Corrupted event. If you purchase the pass before September 14th, you can get an exclusive quest with 10 Corrupted Crystals and a rare Prismatic Chest. The event and pass will expire October 5th at 10am Pacific Time. The Corrupted event brings with it 4 new Champion skins. Corrupted Pantheon featuring alternate art for his level 1 and level 2, Corrupted Targ featuring alternate art for his level 1 and level 2. Corrupted Diana featuring alternate art for her level 1 and level 2. And Corrupted Leona featuring alternate art for her level 1 and level 2. The patch notes are also giving us a sneak peek of Corrupted Zoe, a new skin with alternate art for her level 1 and level 2 with new visual effects and a level up animation. This skin will be released in a later patch. This event also brings two new boards, the Darkin Reaper with interactive elements, visual effects and music, and Kane's Shadow, also with interactive elements, visual effects and music. We're also getting two new Guardians, Lil Rust and Corrupted Stella, four new card packs, Corrupted Zoe, Corrupted Pantheon, Kane and Rust, and Darken, four new emotes, Thrilled, Surrender, Woe, and Dramatic Yordle, and eight new icons for Kane, Master Yi, Jax, Orn, Nora, Corrupted Diana, Corrupted Pantheon, and Corrupted Tsari, and also the ranked icon. And rounding up the cosmetics, we have two new bundles. The Dark Divinity Bundle, including Corrupted Pantheon, Corrupted Tariq, and Champion Cards for Pantheon and Tariq. And the Dark Deconstruction Deck, including a Kane Callista Deck. Like always, prices will be reduced if you own any of the cards or skins before purchasing. To end the patch notes, we have the miscellaneous notes and bug fixes. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you are as excited as I am for the new expansion. Make sure to check this video if you want to continue supporting this channel, leave a like, leave a comment with your favorite skin of the bunch, and don't forget to subscribe for everything Runeterra.